is it Sonya Miller? Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here and you have joined me and I'm feeling thankful that we have another day to make and create together. I was just pulling off the tag off of this little guy here. I was junking and picking earlier today and look at this beautiful find. It is one single candlestick, but you know as well as I do that candlesticks, we all love candlesticks. You can make them shabby gorgeous. Even if you don't have the entire set, just compiling a bunch of them together can look beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Do all your candlesticks match? I know. thought this would be the perfect project to show you guys what I do when I want to achieve uber chippy looks, okay? We're not just talking like chippy, but uber chippy. You got what I'm saying? This is going to be a great project to break out for you guys, the chippy hippie juice. One of the biggest questions I always get is, Sonia, that chippy hippie juice, like, uh, what do you use it for? I've done lots of videos, which you will find here on my channel, but if you've missed them, today is your day, because I'm going to break out the chippy hippie juice to help get me to the final look of uber chippy. It's like chippy to a whole other degree. No, I don't have to do anything to the project. It's going to sit here just looking all pretty. Next up, I'm going to grab my stash of my chippy Chippy Hippie Juice. Chippy Hippie is used in connection with our all natural milk paint. Miss Petunia right there doing a little dance, doing a little handstand for you right there. She could chip, she could flake, she could peel, she could fall off onto the floor, she could give you really cool alligator skin. You just never know what she's going to do. The more shinier the surface, the more she misbehaves. So Chippy Hippie Juice to Miss Petunia is like giving her sugar. It's like giving a little kid and she's already doing a handstand, but you're feeding her more sugar. So what do you think is going to happen? Hmm. Stay tuned and I'll show you what's gonna happen. Monkey spoons. Equal parts of our all natural paint powder mix to equal parts water, just room temperature water, and you immediately have some paint on your hand. So let's go ahead and do equal parts of that as well and mix it up. Now what happens is as you mix up your paint, the water and our milk paint pigment, it begins to combine and set up so, so easy. Look how beautiful and creamy that paint is, right? So it doesn't have to be scary, but just know that it thickens up in the first 10 minutes. So what I like to do is get it mixed up, let it sit to the side, and then get everything else ready and then I'll be ready to go. And this color that I'm using, by the way, is called Tea Biscuit. Back home in Newfoundland, we love our tea and tea biscuits. I'm like, that just reminds me of a tea biscuit. A raisin tea biscuit and a cup of tea will be perfect right now. Just a beautiful, warm, creamy neutral. I'm thinking it's gonna contrast very nicely with this orange wood. I'm going to apply Chippy Hippie all over this piece because I want the whole piece to act up, just not a part of it, the entire thing. So basically, I'm taking a brush, I'm going bananas, and I'm applying it all over the place. And you wanna move relatively quickly because you don't want your Chippy Hippie to dry before it gets to react with your milkshake junk monkey milk paint. All right, ready to go guys? Are you excited? Because I am excited. I'm gonna bring you in closer when I do this because I really want you guys to be able to see it because it gives a certain kind of special look. Let's zoom into the base here real quick. All right, so we'll start right there. All right, into that paint that you just saw me create. All right, I'm gonna give it a nice swipe. Can you see already? Do you see it down there? Look at that, right? Beautiful. You just swipe it over and immediately it gives you that beautiful look. Now what you don't want to do is keep swiping. So when you do your swipe and that magic appears, then you know what? You walk away and you just move to a different area, okay? Because the more you swipe it, then you basically wipe out that reaction. Miss Petunia will also chip and flake, so this is going to be fun um, for it all to come together. And no, I did not use the entire amount of paint. Just to kind of give you a good idea, that was one tablespoon and I could still do like another few candlesticks with the amount that I have in here. Yay guys, we are dry. Now I'm gonna give you two tips, okay? Number one, be patient. Let it dry on its own, okay? Don't be touching it because it gives you that really pretty effect, but if you're touching it before it's dry, you're gonna smear out that beautiful look that you're getting, so you have to be patient. The second tip I wanted to tell you guys is that this is made to work together, our Chippy Hippie Juice and our Milkshake Milk Paint. So a lot of you guys are wondering right now, can I use Chippy Hippie with my Chalky Style Jump Monkey Paint? The answer is, no. And the reason why is Miss Petunia, she's pretty fragile, right? But Mr. Pickles, the boy monkey, who represents our Chalky Style paint brand, he is like sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So his muscles, 
his muscles will overpower this effect and you won't get anything. Let's continue on. I'm gonna grab a sand block that I have near me. Oh, and let's do some distressing. All right, I'm happy with that. Can you guys see some of the stuff that's flaking and chipping off of here? Yeah. I'm gonna seal today with my banana peel. I just told you, in this state, Miss Petunia is pretty fragile, right? She already wants a chip. You even gave her sugar to makes her, that makes her want to even fall off and she can't even sit her butt still. She can't even stay still. So I'm gonna glue her butt a little bit to the uh, chair, to this candlestick with my banana peel. What it's gonna do is it's gonna suck it to the wood but it's also gonna give it a nice protective finish. And that protective finish is gonna hold Miss Petunia together. It's gonna hold her life together. Less is more when it comes to banana peel poly. And you don't wanna keep going over the same part. This petunia just gives us the most wild and crazy and amazing looks, right? You want your furniture to be one of a kind? Mm -mm. Nobody can get that chip to happen right where you just put it. Like seriously, is this not wild chippy? Like remember how I said uber chippy? This is uber chippy right here and she's still drying. The gorgeous with a candle. And can you imagine even if you wanted to, you could tie like some burlap around the base or a win guys I would love it if you would take a moment to subscribe to my channel because every single day at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I show up here with a daily video for you guys free classes free inspiration and a dose of fun into your life and maybe some color too be sure to give me a thumbs up leave me a comment below and hit that little bell what it does is it notifies you every single time my upload is available and ready for you to take a look at I'll see you tomorrow bye Sweet.